Hey everybody, welcome back to Heavy Metal. I know it has been a minute since I have put out any content, and I'm just going to tell you, you know, that Rona got me down for a couple of weeks there, then the weather just was ignorant, and by the time I was able to actually get back out here, uh, I am so far behind in the custom shop, it ain't even funny. I've been work, 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 take a break, work, work, work out there. So, I finally got a little bit of time here in the gun store, and what I wanted to do is show y'all my top six uh, handguns that I use in videos, and tell you why I always choose these for certain tests and what have you. I uh, thought it would just be cool, and also we'll throw in some cool clips showing y'all these guns being fired. Number six. Check that pretty boy out. Yeah, that is my BFR. And look at that. Chambered in 350 Legend. I got a red dot on it. BFR. 350 Legend and a shaving cream. Now that's fun. This revolver did not come this way. I totally disassembled this and polished it. And I think it looks nice. Well, why do I always choose this a lot for videos? Well, for one, it is a crowd pleaser. I mean, look at it. I mean, if looks is something, then this has got it going on. But besides that, this gun shoots really well. It's not as front heavy as what you would think. And being 350 Legend, the recoil is not that bad. You can one hand this right or left all day long. And it's not going to injure you or anything like that. Now, as far as the cartridge, I like 350 Legend, like it in a rifle. Love it in my long pistol here, revolver, excuse me. But for certain tests, like uh, shooting vest or trying to blow up something or going out a little bit of long range or something like that, uh, this thing really works out well, and I have no big issues with it. Uh, I have done a little bit of work on it. The uh, cylinder sometimes just a little tight on the turning, and I know why I just got to get back in there and fix that problem. But as far as a shooter, she's a shooter and makes great videos, and I know y'all get a kick out of this thing, and I get a kick out of shooting it. Now, number five. When I really want to stretch out there, or I want to test something to see how tough it is, or just hit something and just obliterate it. My FK no PSD chambered in 7.5 FK. FK no PSD Making it snow. This thing is just awesome. I mean, it runs like a dream. And it's great for trying out different 7.5 ammo on the chronograph and things like that, or shooting vest or what have you. And remember, with this particular package, I can take a barrel out and shoot 9mm in it, changing the mag. And you can also get a barrel that will shoot the 10 millimeter 40 cal, which is really handy. You can have four different cartridges in the same handgun. And that is the main reason I like this. Besides that, it is, it is very comfortable. It fits in the hand well. Uh, the sights, well, the dots are small. That's the only uh, drawback that I have on it with my old eyes. But besides that, I mean, it's a great shooter. And there again, crowd pleaser. 
and y'all seem to like it when I do bring it out. And like I say, on any of these that I'm showing y'all, if you have some ideas that you'd like to see, throw them down in the comments and we'll see if we can make that happen. But yeah, number five, the PSD from FK Bruno. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, for when I really just want to go all out, have some fun, get some good fireballs going, or just obliterate whatever I'm shooting at, and I have the ammo to shoot it. My Magnum Research Desert Eagle. Cream soda cans, Desert Eagle 50AE, 300 grain flat nose, full metal jacket. Now this is fun. I have to say guys, this is one of my favorite ones to shoot. Yeah, the recoil's a little bit there. But I can one-hand it all day long. It doesn't kill me. Once I learned how to shoot it, when I first got this thing, the first 10 rounds, I thought it was going to break my wrist. Uh, you hold this a different way. I reckon for everybody else it's different. But once I figured out how to hold this handgun, then the recoil's not bad. It doesn't hurt. I'm not afraid of it or anything like that. And I mean, 50 cal, you just, you just got to love it. And like I say, there again, you're shooting a vest, doing tests like that, uh, running out, and just seeing bullet penetration and things. This is a great go-to, and just too much fun to pull the trigger on. Next up, number four, is my Rock Island. This is a 1911. This is in 10 millimeter. Rock Island, 1911. Chambered in 10 millimeter and some shaving creams. Look at that. And y'all have seen this a lot on the channel. This gun, I used to shoot 10 millimeter and I shoot a lot of 40 cal out of it. It'll cycle it, no problem. Uh, this thing works like a charm. It's got a beautiful trigger. Just, it's comfortable. This thing's a real shooter. I mean, it's a tack driver if you'll sit there, pay attention, and get that nice trigger pull. And also, I like the sights on this. As you can see, it's got that red front sight, the fiber optic. And on the back, it's the white double dots. But when you hold this thing, I mean, side picture just comes right in. And I use this gun a lot, to, of course, to test out different ammos. Uh, be it 10 millimeter or 40 cal, doesn't matter. The thing will cycle just about anything. And if I want to do something, you know, with some accuracy, uh, you know, shooting pencils at 60 feet or something like that, or uh, chronograph any type of ammo or everything, Seems like I always go back to this uh, Rock Island 1911. And, I mean, the main reason, it shoots well. It handles well, and it has no malfunctions. And that's a big thing for me. It is just a really, really good pistol, and I enjoy shooting it. Now, number two on the list, everybody loves to get out of range and plank some 22. i I'm no different. I love it. I need like a 55 gallon drum of them and go out there and just have a heyday. But it seems like uh, when it comes to uh, my pistols, I picked this Smith & Wesson Model 622. Smith & Wesson 622, 22 caliber versus Firebird Bio Targets.
That was cool. Yes, this is an older firearm. And yes, that is a sight off of a modern Smith & Wesson that I may fit on there because the rear sight was missing. But it is a just a white dot with a front silver ramp on it. Uh, you can acquire this pretty good. It takes a few seconds for me to get her just lined up. This little gun is accurate. It runs well. I have, uh, you know, two magazines for it, which had to buy magazines too. This thing, I say, it's got some age on it. And it's pretty neat. It's a bottom barrel gun. And you can also put a silencer on this. It is threaded. But as far as for 22 and to do some testing, testing out the ammo, do some chronograph test, or just have some fine planking, this is always my go-to uh, when it comes to 22 LR. This thing's a lot of fun. And now, number one pistol that I see him to grab all the time. Because 9mm, it seems like, is the most popular. That's what everybody wants to see being shot, uh, tested, different types of ammo, this, that, and other thing. And I also use this firearm for all my trick shots. Uh, I've done the it's a mirror shot. I think I've shot some string in half. Uh, shot, drove a nail. Uh, oh, I even split a bullet with this thing. But this gun never fails me. It's very accurate. It feels great in the hand. And it has run every kind of ammo that I put through it. And that is my Remington RP9. I know, the RP series got some bad rap from some people. But let me tell you, maybe they got a junk one, maybe they just don't know how to shoot. Maybe they're a gun snob, who knows? Uh, I am not a gun snob. There are certain guns that I really don't care for. I'm not going to snob them. I'll take them out there and shoot them, tell you what I think about them honestly. But as far as this RP9 goes, I couldn't tell you how many rounds been slung through this thing. I know a lot. Y'all can go back and look at the playlist and see this thing all over the place. It has ran everything I put through it. Any type of trick shot I tried, this one has performed it. And it's just got the factory white dot sights. I mean, as far as dependability and making a ton of videos, this right here has probably been my number one go-to. It's, uh, I mean, it's just a great gun, guys. Ask those people that have had one and have shot them a lot, and more than likely they're going to say the same thing. And as far as bonus goes, when it comes to 45 ACP, when I do videos on that, uh, my everyday carry. And surprisingly enough, it's a Remington. This is the RP-45. Yeah, she's beat up. But this is my everyday carry. I carry it everywhere. I carry it out to the shop. I did put the fiber optic red rear side on it. And I put a green on the front. For me, that really jumps out from my eyes. It works good. I trust this thing. It hasn't failed me. Uh, 15 round mag and a 45. That's hard to beat, guys. And like the, uh, the RP-9 is an 18 round mag. That's a lot of capacity for a pistol. And guys, there you have it. That's my most go-to when it comes to my handguns for shooting videos. And there's the how and why that I actually choose these particular six with the bonus of the 45. Uh, they just all run good for me. They'll give me no trouble and they get the job done. Well, guys, I do appreciate you watching. Uh, again, sorry it's been so long since there's been a video. I'm just super, super busy. I will get out to the range as soon as I can. Looks like the weather's getting a little better. That'll help also. In the meantime, if you would, throw us down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon and or the super thanks below. And please, like, share, and subscribe. 
really want to get this channel going a lot better and get a lot more subscribers and a lot more going on, and y'all can make that happen. Again, thank you very much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.